Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. Last week, I did a segment on the multisensory rainbow alphabet. Since then, I've had a couple of requests for some multisensory ideas for math. So I was thinking, why not use the rainbow alphabet concept and apply it to math? I noticed in my container of cinnamon alphabet cookies from Trader Joe's that there were also numbers, a perfect tool for my multisensory number rainbow. You would do the same thing with the numbers as I showed you for the letters. Just like you instructed your students with the rainbow alphabet, you can do the same thing with the number rainbow. You would say to tell them, my left hand is on the one, my right hand is on the 20, 10 is in the middle. 5 is halfway between 1 and 10, and 15 is halfway between 10 and 20. Now your students have this rainbow of numbers that they've divided into quarters, and they can see the concepts of the numbers much better. You can also have them do matching of the numbers, or just put the numbers in order, and as they're making their numbers, you can have them say the number and draw it, with that multi-sensory approach, so they'll say one, two, three. You have some other options too. You can get out your, your glue, colored glue, four, five, six. You can also bring out your missing number cards. So one, two, what comes after two? What comes before five? What comes in between seven and nine? Notice this rich language that you're applying to numbers. What comes before 11 and after 11? So you got your missing number flashcards. You can also do a multi-sensory approach with more than one number or more than just two numbers. So you can do 12,468, things like that with your pipe cleaner and beads or you can bring some colored little objects over here where if you've got that student that reverses numbers, bring your little items over here and have one color for the tens column and different colors for the ones column. So if the student is reversing numbers, you can say 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, they'll know not to put 97 because you've used some color coding and you've touched it, set it, and uh, uh, they could see it. Use what you have in your classroom, counting bears, checker pieces, those little see-through chips, whatever to help your students tap into that multi-sensory experience of seeing it, saying it, and touching it all at the same time. I'm thinking that if this can work for reading, it can work for math too. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, the better quality life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog, plus other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with all of your parents, your teachers, your friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care, and I'll see you next time.